Welcome to Ask the Mox. Where we challenge you to stop playing and start pushing. Uh, 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 I mean, that right there is real. Uh, it's just me. It's just in me. Uh, I don't want you than him. Dang. Play your breath in my face. Let's see if you want three for three. Right here is my lovely and mm, mm, mm. <laughs> wifey. <Fiona. laughs> mm, that's not a that's not a word. Boo. A, mm, mm, mm. This is my boo, my baby, my boy, <laughs> my husband. I use it. What's up, y'all? <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? We coming to y'all today to um, touch on something that that um, that that we've experienced in our relationship and something that we think will help to improve the quality of your relationship. And really, what it's about is um, recognizing that when you're experiencing difficulty in your relationship when you are looking to take your relationship to the next level it's imperative it's imperative that you recognize that change is incremental <laughs> and so i lift that piece up today because um you know we we've um had a lot of transition had a lot of experiences in our lives um individually as well as in our relationship and during the course of our relationship we've experienced a whole lot of change mm -hmm. and um, sometimes what we've expected during the process of change is that she just get it just like that, or damn, he need to get it just like that. And um, it don't happen like it that. It don't work like now, that. No, it, it really doesn't. And so um, today, um, really briefly, we want to bring home um, that particular point to you that change is incremental, and we want to do that by illustrating um, or using our family um, as an illustration to help bring home that point. And so, I, I have no idea what he's getting ready. <laughs> so I'm all looking like y'all. I'm like, I'm like y'all right now. Like, yeah. <laughs> teach me, baby. <laughs> and so um, many of you all know about our son, our oldest son, Asante, who has sickle cell anemia. Approximately a year and a half to two years ago, um, he had this major surgery Surgery where he had an external fixator attached to his hip, and he had to have it attached to his hip for like nine months. It was like nine months, mm -hmm. right? And so um, when he first had the external fixator attached to him, we were given a particular tool. And um, the tool, the purpose of the tool was to, to help him to extend his hip um, so that the range of motion could increase and that some cells could be injected into his hip to help him to heal to help his hip to, hip to heal a little bit better. Mm -hmm. And so the tool that they gave us, y'all, was this right here. It's a fancy a little wrench. I can see it. Yeah, it's a fancy little wrench that every single night, now, Yana, she really wasn't trying to do it, but every single night I had to go into his bedroom. <laughs> I did it sometimes. But you really wasn't feeling I didn't want to hurt him because yeah, it hurt it him was, sometimes. It was painful for him <laughs> to, to, um, mm, to experience this. What an analogy. Yeah, yeah, but with this tool right here, really what I had to do was it was already attached to... Um, it was attached to the external fixator, so I had to go in and I had to put these screws on there and then turn this. It may have been like maybe a tenth of an inch. Yeah. Um, so it really wasn't that that big of a change, but what it did was it stretched his hip out and allowed the healing process to occur. So he had experienced the difficulty, the pain, the discomfort in me turning this tool mm -hmm. and stretching his hip to give his hip an opportunity to heal. Mm -hmm. So when we look at our relationship, show. I lift this point up right here to, to let you all know that while my son's change and his transformation and his healing um, took place over a period of nine months, relationships don't always necessarily heal over the course of a nine-month period. It might be years. It might be decades before you actually experience a process of healing. Mm -hmm. But I want to lift up that through those incremental changes, that small turn, that small shift, you making movements every single day and you taking the time to be intentional about what it is that you're choosing to do in a relationship, then it creates the possibility of change and transformation occurring. And it's not going to feel good. My son squirmed. He felt uncomfortable. He said, no, don't turn it too far. But I had to in order for the healing, in order for the change to take place. And so in addition to this right here, this tool right here, let me bring it back to our relationship. Let's see you got a little something familiar on yeah, the table. Yeah, I do. I do. Now, you came ready today, y'all. Back in 1995, y'all. Don't say it like it's that long ago. It was 20 years ago. <laughs> back, in back in 1995. I was pressed. I was pressed for this young thing right here. <laughs> you know, I really wanted her. You know, I peeped her. And I, actually, let me rewind for a second. The other night, we in the bed, y'all. And so, you know, we in the bed. And, you know, the missus, she wants to get all comfy and cozy and, and get connected with me. And so she says, you know, I got a story I want to tell you. Mm -hmm. And so she tells me this story about how we met. What she saw in me when she saw me, how we engaged each other initially, how we connected with each other, 
And um, it got me all warm and fuzzy, and you know I had to handle my business. And so, <laughs> and so, the next day, y'all, I come in the house, and uh, my daughter, she's doing a big major project for school. Actually, it's an introductory project for school where she got like tell about herself. So she's going through a bunch of pictures, and um, she stumbles across one picture that we took back in 1995 when we started dating. And so. In this one picture, it's a picture of... I'm going to show y'all the picture real quick. How are they going to say, that don't look like y'all. Y'all look young. I know. Like, I hold up, boo. Don't mm-hmm. I still look young? So this is the picture, y'all. <laughs> Let me try to get that. <laughs> and so as you can see, it oh, says... Oh, you look like a little pookie. Yeah, it says it says Tony and Dion. That's before he changed his name. So yeah, so that's before I changed my name. So she brought this... She was like, Baba, is You're that you? you in front of this thing. My bad. Baba, is that you? Mommy, is that you? You look totally different, Mommy. <laughs> You don't look like the same I look, person. I don't look that different. Yeah. <laughs> so this was back in 1995, y'all. And we had something on the back of this this picture, this card, right? It's and a little hold, thing. And, and it says, there is no obstacle our love can't overcome. Nor race it will never complete. There is no test too tough for our love. Our love is true love. Mm-hmm. Our love is beautifully unique. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so I show y'all that picture because I want to emphasize the fact that we've been in this thing for a minute. We've been in this game. We've been in this relationship. We've been in love for a long time. I love my and, wife. And and it has not always looked like this. It hasn't. It hasn't can, I, always... can I just say something? No, let me finish saying what I'm I, saying. I just first. want them to understand. Well, hold on. Let me finish saying it what hasn't. I'm saying. I love my wife more today than I ever have, ever, ever, ever loved her. She gives so much to me. But during the course of that time period, during the course of these 20 years that we've been together, there have been some, since you want to go ahead and take this far, go ahead and take well. it. <laughs> <laughs> We've been through some things. Mm. Look, I, I'm not going to go into it too much, but all I'm going to say is this: My husband said change is incremental; it is not instantaneous. And and all of the growth that we've experienced, a lot of that growth has been through sheer pain. We have been distant. We have not talked to each other at times. Um, you know, we have been on total opposite ends. Um, you know, on, on certain issues, we 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 have not uh, respected one another. We have criticized each other's ways and and styles and personalities. We've been immature and uneducated and wet behind the ears and just trying to figure out who we were as individuals. Mm-hmm. I mean, when I look back now, I realize, oh my goodness, had had we tapped out which thank God we never did and we never considered doing. But had had I tapped out, I wouldn't have been able to see that I didn't know what I was talking about. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have been able to see that I still was growing. I wouldn't have been able to see that he was just trying to become a man mm-hmm. because, you know, we were together young. And so if you just remember that and you lift up all of the positive things that you do have going for yourself in your relationship, in your marriage, then you will be able to get through the places of difficulty mm-hmm. because you have to have this perspective that change happens very slowly. You see your niece once a year. And every time you see her, you say, my goodness, so much has changed. But you weren't with her every day because when you're in it, you can't see it. When you're up close to it, you can't respect it or appreciate it. Hmm. But when some time passes and you look back and you look over, you say, wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. Change has really happened. And we have dramatically been transformed. And I am a brand new person and a different type of wife. You know, and he's a, a brand new man and a different type of husband. And oh my goodness, I can't wait to see where we're going next. But you won't know that if you expect instant results. You won't know that if you have no discipline. You won't know that if you won't stay the course. So change, y'all. It's incremental. Appreciate what you have. Buckle down. Stay focused. Stay disciplined. Do your work. And stop playing. And start pushing.